Uh, we will be playing Railway Empire, uh, which is a new game coming out from Calypso. Um, I think it's coming out in a few weeks just from now. Uh, don't quote me on that. Um, also worthy of note, uh, this game is in uh, pre-order beta, as is evident by down here. So there will probably be some bugs, some glitches, some stuff that's not added yet those kinds of things part of the game is kind of part of the experience of uh you know early access i suppose um i have not yet played this game at all so uh what we'll find is you know what we'll find i suppose uh i'm no expert yet uh probably will never become an expert because i jump away from games probably a lot before that but I do very much enjoy games like OpenTTD, uh, Railway, uh, Railroad Tycoon, uh, 1, 2, and 3, which is awesome, and uh, Transfer Fever, Train Fever, you know, all, all the big ones, but also the smaller ones like uh, Machinki, which uh, for a little while ago came out with uh, the third um, update, I believe. Which uh, I haven't gotten around to try yet, but I'm looking forward to trying that. Included oil and some some uh, awesomeness, diesel trains, and you know, all the good stuff. Uh, but I've been rambling on now for way longer than I should. So let's just uh, hit the campaign. We do want to do campaign, right? Or do we do want to do scenarios? I'm not sure. Let's do campaign. Why not? Why not? Chapter one, obviously. Uh, Great Plains. This first chapter, first chapter takes you to the construction site of the Union Pacific Railroad, which was started in 1863. Tracks were built westwards to establish the first transcontinental line. While you are con conquering the vastness of the Great Plains and the heights of the Rocky Mountains with your tracks, you will learn about the basics of railway empire. Thomas Clark Durant, the visionary in charge of Union Pacific, will assist you. Alright. I think that's doable. Now what kind of thing is this? Uh, still same text, alright. So nothing more to uh, add to that. Uh, the game will automatically pause when building tracks signal the shore. Probably fine. Probably fine. It would just, uh, meticulous get started. planning, tables, figures, and hard facts. Yep, tables, figures, and hard facts. When visiting his gentleman's club, Roger Smith, uh, is always incredible. Uh, is can we Let's choose go. different ones? No, okay, time is money. Uh, we'd be choosing down here, though. No, all right, well, uh, he gives us five percent. Higher freight prices, um, which is, you know, nice. And uh, what is your name? Harry Snowman is my name. The rest are just gold diggers who Can't, don't have a I want to change the name of the company. Works. All right. Let's just uh, jump right in. Look at that beautiful graphic. In 1863, on the oh, banks of the that. Missouri River, the last chapter in the monumental undertaking of the Transcontinental Railroad began. What he said. The workers of the Union Pacific Railroad began laying their tracks westward from Omaha through the wild heart of the North American continent. Massive challenges awaited them. Away from all civilization, the country was vast, the weather ruthless, and the challenges tremendously energy sapping. But there was a masterstroke of modern engineering to be accomplished, to tame the wilderness and to conquer it with steel, fire, and steam. Never before had anything like this been ventured, but the time was ripe. Greetings. My name is Thomas Clark Durand. Exactly, the head of Union Pacific. 
we will go down in history as the ones who created the Transcontinental Railroad. And that, my friend, is your job as chief engineer. I can supervise everything here on site right now, as I have to meet with some politicians in Washington. <laughs> First, you should familiarize yourself with the basic controls. Move the yep. camera in all yep. directions. Mm -hmm. Now, test the camera's zoom function. Okay. You can also rotate Ooh, the camera. You can get really try. far into it. You can basically see a guy picking his nose. This altitude. All right. Very there we go. good. Now you know the basic controls. Your the first task is to create a rail assuming. connection between Omaha and Norfolk to the northwest. Building constructions. Both small, cities will need probably. a station for this. Oh, that's already you already got have one. a station in Omaha, but you still need to build one in Norfolk. To do this, switch to building construction mode. There we go. Very good. Now the two stations need to be connected with tracks. To do this, switch to track construction mode. Now plan the tracks between the stations in Norfolk and uh, Omaha. How do I, uh... To do this, select the two station tracks one after no, the other. No, not like then that. Pay for your track planning. There we go. All right. Uh, pay now and build. Create your first train so that you can set up a rail line between your stations. Initially, Bye. your train only exists on paper. It's not much use to you without a locomotive. Additionally, okay. each train needs a rail line that passes through all the stations it should stop at. Now join your two stations to there the rail go. line by selecting them one Thank after you. the other. That's enough for your first rail line. Now confirm it so it becomes active. Very good. Have oh, I done that? Now you can see the journey your train will take. Kind of weird that the train is, the train will you know, automatically engine is over there and the uh, uh, wagons get filled up from here and backwards. Like it would be more natural for it to be, you know, along, have some kind of relevance with the However, train station. However, as each That's locomotive needs water, sand, Possibly. and on its journey, you have to place a supply Supply tower. tower. The route. All right. Very good. Consider it done, my friend. Is now traveling between Omaha and Norfolk, but you can do even more. Each city needs goods from the surrounding area. For example, every city needs corn. All right. What do you know? Corn. Look, there is a corn farm near Omaha. Yeah, Until that was now, weird. The corn has made it to the city in the conventional way, but we want to change that. Of course we do. Could have told you that a long time ago. Now connect the new rural train station to the station in Omaha. Connected. Now things are getting tricky as we have to deal with a logistical problem. As Norfolk should also enjoy fresh corn, there will soon be two trains traveling on the stretch of track between Omaha and Norfolk. Of course, okay. this will then result in a conflict. What is a conflict what you call a collision? Since trains cannot travel right. through each other, you'll need a side track between Omaha and Norfolk. This consists of one parallel track yeah. and two signals. Yeah, I get it. Are you going to show me where? First, or? create a side yeah, track. It I needs thought. to be at least long enough for a fully loaded train. Oh, you don't click and drag. You just click. All right, well, uh, how do I, uh, there we go. No, there we didn't go. There we go. Okay, now, there we go. All right. Yeah. That's Excellent. Probably However, your trains won't necessarily use fast. the sidetrack, as they generally always take the shortest route. For this reason, you also have to specify the direction of travel on each parallel track. Uh, now open building construction mode and set up a signal in the highlighted area pointing in the direction of the switch. Done and done, my trains friend. Trains will then be able to stop here when the single track is in use. Now make sure that the track can only be traveled in one direction. For this purpose, set the signal so the trains coming from the opposite direction cannot pass. Excellent. There we go. Now do the same on the parallel track so that each parallel track no. has a different direction. No. Place a second signal on the highlighted area and block the track to trains oh, that's coming the, oh, from right. the opposite yeah. direction. Yeah, Very I've done good. it. Thank you. I'm sure that it wasn't at all easy. Done.
You will soon come to realize that signals yeah, are an important get that now. aid in guaranteeing you. smooth rail operations. Eee. You will find more information and tips under hints and tips. I'm uh, assuming here to be kind of, you know, kind of, kind of a fun kind of zoom, I suppose. I didn't know though. All right. Well. Now assemble a new train and give it a locomotive and a rail line. Sure. Your new oh. rail line should run via Omaha to Norfolk Get right on it, so buddy. that the people of Norfolk can be right supplied on. with corn. Did I bite now? Did I? I don't know. Is that? And then... Uh, I'm back here and then here. Is that what he wants me to do? Let's let's just try. It. Oh, uh. Excellent. The corn farm will sure, automatically make use of your train, train because the cities along your rail line are demanding corn. Conventional transportation is much more costly for the farm. We are still missing yeah. something. Locomotives wear out over time and need to be regularly maintained so they can perform their duties more reliably. Right. For this purpose, there needs to be at least one maintenance building on each rail line where locomotives can be serviced if necessary. Here we go. One ma maintenance building. Do they right. service themselves We've been automatically again? For long enough. I'd say I so. need to return to Washington for further miserable negotiations with our representatives of the people. Yeah, you go uh, ahead and I've do that, buddy. I've written a task list for you. Take a look at it and complete the tasks within the given time period. Do not disappoint me. Not disappoint you? I won't. I won't disappoint you. All right. Okay. So it's uh, by year. So within a year, we have to connect Oma to North Platte, North Plate, North Platte, and to uh, Cheyenne, Cheyenne Mountain, huh? Now where is where are those? There we have one. Can I are we taking along now? Can I pause it? I can't. Is that slow? Are we slow now or are we fast now? I just don't know. Uh, but all right, let's uh, connect it up then, I suppose. Not that much more to do. Are we uh, going to spend some some wild, crazy cash here? Or why not? All right, double tracking it. Or double platforming it, I suppose. Where would we want to go from there? Straight through to Rock Springs, probably. Yeah, short. All right. All right. The city council of Cheyenne is refusing uh, you permission to build a station as you haven't connected a station in North, North Lap with your hometown network. All right. Let's 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 do that first then. I was thinking I was going to do it the other way, but all right. Fine. Okay. Thank you. All right, let's, um, I want to do this. Let's bring it over to Norfolk. And uh, from Norfolk, we'll double track the whole shenanigans. Good. That's finished. Here are making progress. There we go. And we can just do it this way, I think. And we, we can't just, can we, why can we not? Okay, let's. On the outside, then. And then connect it up. Like that. Looks weird, though. But okay. That's how you want to do it. That's how you're going to get it. Can I, um... By any chance, you know, destroy this part? No. Okay. It's probably nice. Can I... How can I... There must be a way for me to destroy this thing. Bulldozer, maybe? Maybe? Probably, even, I'd say. Here we go. And tracks, and thank you. Yeah, sure, like that. 
Nice. All right, is that uh, it's double track, which is nice. Uh, and we're gonna have to throw into no, that's not gonna work. Oh, it is because it. Oh, yeah, no, never mind. Never mind then. Uh, but let's signal up some more just to be on the safe side. Like, throw one in over here and. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna have some, some trouble getting uh, learning the the keys here. Okay, like that. There we go. I think. Sure. Yeah. Right hand drive. It's. And then switch it around. There we go. All right. This is gonna take time to get used to. But I think it will be a good system once you get used to it, though. But yeah, you know. we uh, yeah, it's probably plenty of uh, of. Uh, Signals is what it's called. Signals. All right, let's um, grab North Plate and and uh, Northfolk in Omaha. But it then stop in Norfolk on its way back. I wonder. Would have been nice to know that, but uh, did I buy the locomotive now or? Yeah, I must have. Right. There is a train waiting there, so probably. Alright. Um, now, then, can I hook up... Hook up Cheyenne? Let's just do a small station in Cheyenne. At least for now. There we go. What do you know? Okay, it won't... I think we had it there for a second, but, uh, fine. Let's, uh... Yeah, that that was perfect route. Yeah, not not in the slight of uh, not, we must be able to. There we go, like that. Sure, probably not ideal, but it's uh, one percent incline all the way. That's two percent there. All right. Okay. Bonus received. Five hundred fifty k. Get on one's nerves. But now let's get back to your tasks. As you can see, Cheyenne is still a little town hoping for an upswing caused by the railroad connection, but a city will only attract new inhabitants if it is supplied with enough goods. Cities receive basic goods from the surrounding area. If you construct stations in the right places, and establish rail lines, your trains will be used to transport goods and you will make profits for transportation. But for this, you have to know what goods a city actually needs. Fine. All right. You can find out any city's current needs. Now select Cheyenne and view the city's demand for goods. Hello, Cheyenne. How do I view the... Am I just not seeing it? As you can see, oh. Cheyenne currently needs only a handful of goods, and you can only deliver goods that are in demand. As the city grows, it will demand further goods. At the moment, you can supply grain and wood. Both of these goods are available to the north of Cheyenne. Okay, to the north of Cheyenne. Ah... Uh... About the same amount of demand for everything. Connect Cheyenne to a timber business Ooh. and a wheat farm and establish a new rail line that connects them both to Cheyenne. Okay, so doing... How did I... Oh, there we go. 
Do I get a... Ah! Oh, come on! This large one would actually fit both of them. That's 200 grand for a large one. Versus 80 for two of these. Sorry about the phone noises there. Uh, there we go again. <laughs> Sorry. Um, sure. We will be able to build two smaller stations, I think. And there's no way for us to connect it up. Yeah, we can. All right. Do like that. Can we high end station no maybe it's because we're in the menu there we go uh, expand station short I would have loved the track on the other side we can probably fix that though by did I now remove all of it thank you for that oh that was not ideal all right which side do you come in on come in on that one I'm, I'm gonna need some time to get used to the control scheme on this thing. Sure, it looks like it looks like a fine line. We now hook it up to the right one. We did. Great. Awesome. From there to timber. Or do we go straight for Let's go timber, and then we'll hook this up to the timber line. Like, let's double track it actually. At least for the first part of it. Here we go. Yeah, hook up. There you go. Alright, let's. Are we creating one line for each of them? Like, how much is 0 0.2 demand? Is it 0 0.2 wagons? Is that, is that what the demand is? How many wagons is this? Is this, like, 0 0.2 wagons? Because if it is, then, then, you know, one train doing both will be plenty. Let's, let's do one for each. And we're gonna buy the whole train that we got available. There we go. And set up a new line from. No! No, no. How do I uh, undo this? Right. Oh, there we go. There we go. Alright. Yep, it's not. Omaha, Norfolk. That's a thing on it? What's the thing? Why are you not happy? Is it because of this thing? The storm? And I doubt that it's a lot I can do about that, but it's... No, I add the line first. There we go. There we go. Yes, please. No! There we go. And it's starting to get going. North Platte, Omaha, losing money. Unrest in New York. Populace does not want to go to war. Alright. We see some possible war profiteering in our future. Might just be me, though. Hello. There we go. All right, so that's timber and corn with it? No, timber and wheat, All right? So we need corn, we need steaks, and we need beer and corn. I would have thought that Kelly Ranch, wheat, and wheat to beer. All right, so we don't need beer. We can ship beer out of there, so. Which we probably can also do from Norfolk. Omaha. Do we have to do it all the way from Omaha to Cheyenne to be able to provide it with steaks? 
for meat must be a better solution. Right? North Platte. I would have thought that this would provide cattle. Didn't that provide meat? If we ship it to somewhere where there is a... I'm trying to select you. Thank you. Uh, no, I wanted to go back one here. Uh, if I click it, will it build it? No, it won't. All right, but can I, uh, here we go. Two meat and leather, leather or boots. 300 grand, huh? Oh, I don't see that happening. Sorry. Cattle to Denver. All right. Denver. Where's Denver? Denver. Denver. Where you at, mate? Yeah, that was a wonderfully Australian accent there. All right, let's see. Denver. Yeah, short. We'll, we'll go big or go home. There we go. And then send one line. I know, down. Yeah, you got the right idea there for a second. But I don't want you to. There you go. Probably a huge waste of money, but that's, that's fine. There we go. 232K? Are you kidding me? All right, so that's not happening anytime soon. Let's uh, yeah. uh remove track point. Okay. And no, what? What is happening? There we go. No. No. Remove. There you go. Bye. Let's get thing. This thing. Come on. You can do it. You can't do it. All right. There you go. And probably gonna double. Wanna double track that? Oh, it's expensive as well, though. No! There we go. That's so difficult. How much you want to charge me for this? 59? Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Alright. There to here. Yes, please. And we're probably going to want to add a locomotive. Damn straight. Sign. Here we go. Air Pacific Railroad Expands Network. Wow. Over 10. Or sorry. Over 1,000 miles. Long track. Should have gotten a financial bonus for that, I think. All right, well, connect 150,000 people to your network. That's quite a ways away, one would think, but it's we're, we're getting there, you know, ever so slowly. All right. Look at the graphics, though. Pretty, pretty decent graphics, I'd say. Can we uh, jump on this thing? I want to jump on it. Clone? No. No. All right. But if we close that, can we then? Ah, here we go. Right along. Move camera. All right. I'm trying everything that. Can possibly be done. Woo! Whistle! Can you blow my whistle, baby? Whistle, baby. Yeah. Alright, that's probably enough of that. Oh, that's how you made it. Alright. Sorry. 
Ooh, ooh. All right. Well, while we're uh, seeing that beautiful Denver city coming into view here, um, I think we're we'll uh, leave it there for today, uh, or at least for this episode. I'll probably be recording another one in not too long. Uh, I hope you liked it. If you did, uh, please show that love in the comment section and by hitting that like button. If you want to stay up to date on all things average, make sure to hit the subscribe button and uh, maybe even hit the bell button next to it so that you get all the notifications on what's happening next. Until next time, I'll see you there. Cheerio.